be said that life every now and again throws up very rare and unexpected opportunities. Small little gems, like little gift horses that you dare not look in the face. So when Andrew spoke to me at Brian Stag, and it has to be said after probably one or two or probably too many pints, yeah. um, if I'd like to say a few words about Brian at his wedding, <laughs> I had a bit of a double take, wasn't I? I think that's right, I was a bit stuck for the worst tonight. It was, yeah. It would be the robot moment. And I thought, well, hang on, I'm taking anything away from his best man. And, uh, and I thought, no, do you know what? Have I now got the opportunity that I've always dreamed of? Right, Chuck, you have to get your viewings. I'm stuck. This fella, so I'm the stick that I've had to put up with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to make him. Squirm, a little bit hot under the car. Maybe to dish some dirt on Brian. Oh, and it got me thinking. I mean, what could I tell you, Lop? Brian. You've done already know. No, you can't. That's the reason I'm moved about. What possibly could Mel not know about the man that she's lived with for the last 15 years? Does she own me, though? What did you say, John? I actually found some... Uh, <laughs> some uh, some, uh, some uh, interesting and possibly rather incriminating photographs. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, they're not ones with uh, sexy underwear, are they? Uh, if you don't know, <laughs> like to check underneath your chairs and remove the envelope I said I you earlier. Oh, no. oh, one got one. Uh, He's got one. No, I'm kidding, there is no dirt. <laughs> Soon we became very good friends. However, one day, 
So, in a packed gin cup, I was paired Brian, looking a bit like I'm looking at love. <laughs> Merrily going from station to station, bobbing about, and all of a sudden, I noticed Brian was properly working out. I mean, sweat was actually bobbing for him. He was doing press ups, his star jump, taking it all very seriously. Then I thought, hang on, he was trying to impress someone. <laughs> In the high lamp, couldn't see too far. <laughs> and then there they were, Mel and Debbie Terry. <laughs> in their leggings and leotards, <laughs> the hair tied back in a pony, <laughs> as fit as fit could be. Is <laughs> hey, that your son? Well, it's working out, it's working out like true professionals. Well, his tongue was on the floor. God knows what he said to Mel at the bar later, but she obviously took pity on him. <laughs> the rest is history. So Brian and Mel finally got married, for better or worse. Which is quite appropriate, really, with Brian. He couldn't have done better at Mel. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely couple they make. Mel's in you look absolutely stunning. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I have to say um, how lucky you are, Brian, because you will leave here today having gained a wife that is attractive, smart, loving, caring, and who radiates beauty wherever she goes. And a bigger overdraft. <laughs> and Mel, how lucky you are. You leave here today having gained a new dress for both our Between the shoes. <laughs> 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 I've got to go and make that baby now, Rick. <laughs> 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 